I know this may sound a little silly, especially because I'm wearing this shirt that says it's all fun and games until someone drops a nut. But, yahoo YouTube, I am super ganky. In today's video, we're going to talk about the difference between chilling and being lazy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's just say you have like a long list of things you have to get done, like tasks that you need to complete in a certain day. And then you complete all of these tasks in that day. After you're done with that, you're really tired and you're like, oh, I just want to go be lazy. But no, you're not being lazy after you complete all the tasks. You're chilling. Because chilling is like taking a break. Chilling is like putting your mind away from the stress, away from the work, away from the tasks. You're in a sense recharging your energy so you can get back to work the next day. Being lazy is like looking at the same list of tasks and looking at the first one and be like, nah, I'm not gonna do it today. And then like two hours later, you're like, oh, I should probably get up and start doing my tasks. And then you look at the list again, and you're like, nah, I'm gonna do it tomorrow. And then tomorrow comes along and you're like, oh, Nah, I'll do it tomorrow, and then tomorrow, and then tomorrow, and then next week, and then next month, and then next, next year. It just it spirals out of control. That's what being lazy is. Being lazy is knowing what you have to do, and then making the decision to not do it. Chilling is knowing what you have to do, and then making the decision to do it, and take a break afterwards. Because being lazy doesn't hinge off of accomplishing anything, but chilling does. I know this may sound a little silly, especially because I'm wearing this shirt that says it's all fun and games until someone drops a nut. But the way you use words, the way you define yourself, the way you express your ideas through verbal communication will largely shift what's going on in here. Because the more you say it, the more you believe it. And the more you believe it. So ladies and gentlemen, my challenge for you today is to take a look at the past week. Just keep it to a week. Look at what you did and look at what times you were chilling and what times you were being lazy. Try to see how much more time you spent doing one as opposed to the other and then make the decision, if you so choose, to change it up. Because remember, we have to get a bird's eye point of view on the lives we live. Because if we're stuck here, if we're stuck in first person, we'll never be able to learn from our mistakes. And make no mistake, it is our jobs as positive thinkers to always strive to learn from our mistakes. That's the video for today, YouTube. If you like this content, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. We need to get the good word of positive thinking out there to as many people as possible. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.